Making a neon text effect is super easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it with Kittle. No more trying to mess around with complicated programs. Just with a couple of sliders and one effect, you'll be able to make your text have that bright neon texture to it. So let's learn how to do it right now. And if you don't have Kittle, go ahead and sign up using the link in the description, and then you can make these effects just like the one you're about to see in the video. All right, to get started with our neon text, we wanna make sure we go ahead and have a light text on a dark background. And what we're gonna be doing is using an effect called drop shadow. And this is gonna be the winner here. So the drop shadow is gonna pretty much do everything we need it to. And what we're gonna do is change the color and we wanna make sure we're gonna use kind of a bright neon color. So what I'm gonna do is start with a kind of neon pink color. I think that's gonna look really, really nice here. And so what we're going to do is basically turn the offset off, okay? We don't really need this at an angle. We, if we adjust it, you can see here, it goes all the way down or left or right, depending on your angle, but we just need it all the way flush with the text. And what I'm gonna do is increase the blur and you can see already that as I increase the blur, it gives it that neon effect. And this is really simple to do. All you see is just moving a slider and you can easily do it. Now, if you want to intensify this effect, what we can do is we can hit copy and paste and we can duplicate the text on top of each other. So now you can see I've duplicated on top and it is even brighter. But what I think looks even more natural is if we take the blur and we move it back down to about 20 or somewhere between 20 and 30. Uh, the previous one was around 60, which I think is a nice uh, blur effect. And so now you can see that looks even better that we've duplicated the text like this. And I think it's a little bit more realistic. Now what we can do is go down to project colors and change the color. So maybe you wanna do something like a green. I think that looks really, really cool like that. Um, but you could do anything you want. You, do, you can also select both texts, both texts, and then we can go and change our font. Now we have a font called Neon Sans right here, which is really cool. And that gives it that super realistic effect here. So let me size this up a little bit, adjust it. Now you can also make them closer together or farther apart with the letter spacing there. But let's take this one step further and make it even more realistic. If we go to textures, we can go down here and we can look at some of our brick textures. Now, you can see here that as I click through some of these uh, brick textures, you can see that they are flush with the background and they give this more realistic effect. You can see the glow that's kind of hitting off the back of that brick. Now, what we're gonna do is add a gradient and it's a little bit hidden, uh, but what we wanna do is find this gradient, right, that gives the lighter part in the center and basically giving a gradient from all four corners right so what I can do is size this up make it the entire length of the artboard then when I hit right click and send to the back it gives an even more realistic effect now let's drop the opacity down it's a little bit dark and you could play with this you could play with the color you could change the color of the brick whatever you want to do uh, and this is a super easy way to get this neon text effect now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video